Hi, so I've just uh, completed a, a project. I've mastered it, I've rendered it. Uh, there's three uh, pieces that I've split up between one long piece. It's actually like 20 minutes long. It was an improvisation. Uh, several different tracks uh, played together and basically I splice it up, edit it and I created three uh, master tracks. But what I've been doing recently is uh, uh, getting samples from these these uh, tracks. So I have a documentation uh, of the sounds that I used. Uh, basically I make one shots uh, samples. So if I zoom in These are individual samples which I collected and saved. But I'm going to do a, a final one and I thought to walk you through the process. Because if you have a, a piece which went well, it's good to uh, keep a record of the, the sounds that you used and you could use them in different projects. So I've highlighted a section of all the audio. At time and then I'm going to just roughly put a marker and a marker here and if I double click on the top it creates if you can see I'm going to move this in a bit because it's I mean you can play the section if you want but I'm happy just to take the data which is here if I double click again so in between now if you go uh, to the item and you can split items at time selection which it's done so these these are basically they're split yeah so what you can do you can do it two ways you can uh, just press D on your keyboard Now I've played around with the settings. Uh, if if they're not split into small sections, you can um, click click this here and alter these. I'm not going to alter them because I'm quite happy with the splits that's there. But normally you can just move this slider up and down, and uh, it will do the splits for you. But sometimes. It doesn't read it and therefore if you click this and then move these up and down it should read everything and all you have to do now is just split it you see this isn't been done so I'm going to redo that um, so again I go to D on my keyboard that's strange because it has split it there Let me zoom in. Yeah, it's been split, but for some reason it's not splitting it. Oh, it has now. That's good. Uh, what I do next, because these are one shots I'm after, I go to um, item, and I go down to F2, item properties, and then I just normalize it. I've done it to minus three. DB, which is probably a bit quiet for a one shot, but it's. Uh, I'm going to keep it all uniform, so I'm, I'm going to leave it as it is. Maybe if you do it to minus two or minus one, you still have a bit of headroom for any peaks. Press OK, and that would have normalized everything that's highlighted. Um, the next thing to do is uh, go to render. Now I've selected uh, selected media items via master. It's because I have some uh, EQs and uh, compression on these tracks, and I also have the same on my master track. 
So I want the uh, the tracks to go through those effects. So I'm going to choose this one. But if you have no effects on, then you could just go to selected media items, and it would render every individual um, item. Uh, so as you can see, there's 858 media items that are basically small one shots that I can use in different projects. Uh, the thing to do now is to go and uh, I, I haven't put a tail on because you know because there could be loops in there I don't want any extra bits. Um, put it to mono don't have it on stereo there's no point and it also takes some more uh, space uh, the samples are quite high, but uh, I, I like them high. Well, I've 24 bit. Uh, so the next thing is just create uh, a, a, a folder, which I'm going to create here. I'm just going to call it uh, 800 one shots for now. And I'll rename it later on when I've decided where it's going to go. So it's going there and it's from the project uh, Desolation Abode. One shot samples, I'm going to call this, I'm going to call it three actually because it's the third one I'm doing. And just to check everything, full speed, uh, no, it's uh, yeah, full speed online. And just press render, and that's it. And as you can see, there's small um, items, so it's going to take eight minutes to do. And uh, I'll get back to you later on. So it's finished after eight minutes. And if you look at the, the peaks, uh, it could be better. Uh, really, you're looking for minus three, really, or up for one shots. But um, it'll do. It'll do. So if we close this. And if we go and look at the, the files, because you might be thinking, what are we going to do with 800? This is the folder. These are my previous ones here. And they're only short sections of a longer piece. So, But anyways, we've got a 800. And what I normally do is order them by size. As, an energy, as you can see, they're not very big even. Some, I mean, some are. I mean, if we went back, um, there's one megabyte there. I mean, they're not massive, but uh, that was not the object to do big files, really. Um, but anyways, the, the idea is that you, you order them by size, And then you can just, well, you can either put them into folders if you want, uh, certain sizes into different folders. But what I tend to do, I have a, a drum sampler, and I just said there was 16 uh, slots. Um, I would just use 16, put them into the drum sampler, and they would have their own um, textures and... and, and um, sounds and this can actually become a nice uh, percussion instrument uh, also you could stack them on top of each other and uh, layer, layer them and uh, that can also be a nice uh, way of using them to create different textures um, there's, there's lots of things you can do you know if you don't want to use the very small ones you could uh, split them bigger 
uh, it doesn't have to be so small uh, just play around with the the splitter the the D on your uh, keyboard and um, just split them uh, at, a, at a bigger size and use them as uh, loops or um, yeah there's lots of ways to use your big uh, master tracks hope you find it useful